Okay, this is a craft room tour video that my twin sister Melissa said I have to make. So we need to start facing the living room because that TV stand right there, um, I have overstock, overflow of stuff in that one. And I also have one in the bedroom that I have stuff stored in. The heavier stuff. <coughs> when I move to turn, I'll cover up the camera. So, okay. This area we do not need to talk about. My husband wanted a workspace and in my craft room. So I let him have a little space. And then this is behind it is storage. And I have lighter stuff in there. Again, overflow of supplies are in there, the lighter stuff, like extra ribbon, and there are some envelopes in there because they're lighter, but just the lighter stuff. And let's move over. There is my stand that I got off Amazon Warehouse, pretty cheap, for my Cricut and my brother Scan and Cut. And when I use it, I just pull it up to me. And in the bottom drawers, I have miscellaneous stuff. But two of the drawers have journals that are finished that I need to sell. And then we go over beside it. And there is one of those rainbow stands, rainbow cards. And in a couple of the top drawers, I have like my ink that's not open. You know, my ink dabbers and stuff like that. Other than that, it's pretty well empty. Um, so I guess I need to find stuff for it. And then just some miscellaneous stuff on top. Um, I keep my ink boxes. Keep thinking I'm going to do something with them. And they just kind of pile up and I'll throw them out and then start stacking them back up. I never do anything with them. And then I have this cart for my die cutting machine. And when I need it, I just pull it up to where I sit. So, um, that's handy to have. And then this starts my tables. I got three tables. And this is just miscellaneous stuff. I say miscellaneous, but it's not really like, um... Like this one, it has, I think, 50 of the um, placemats cut up and ready to be in a journal. This is stuff for folio journals, like this envelope here that is 50 of the um, paper bag envelopes that I make. Here is some book page pockets. Some guest checks uh, stenciled on. Here is some miscellaneous paper. This I hoard that paper. I love it. And then my husband got me this at Dollar Tree. It's upside down. And I haven't used it yet. And... Not quite sure what I'm going to use it for. So it just sits in there. And then this is scraps that I have left over. Scraps. And here beside it is that paint holder. And I made that. And on top I have my alcohol ink. And being these bottles are jerk, I colored the top of the lids so that one's red the ink in there is red and then this shelf here goes up I have extra plastic envelopes in this one just all different kinds that aren't being used I have some composition notebooks smaller ones in there um, more, uh, washi tape 
in there. And then, like, which one is it? Like this jar. That's my book binding jar. Um, different kinds of paper clips and stuff. That one right there, I keep empty. The behind the scissors, there's some extra um, sp empty spray bottles, and I keep my glue lined up there. But that tote right there, I keep empty because my cat likes to sleep there. And in this one, I have tape stored, just double-sided tape, just all kinds of tape. Um, and then we go to these. Up there is my ink. I keep them in that. And this one here, see, my ink is right there. And I always pull it to me when I need it. Here is my punches. That's um, tablet things that I've made. And then that's just all different kinds of paper in that thing and like file folders and just paper so right there this is getting close to where i sit i have my printer and on top i have my sample book on top of here that my sister made me and like here these are my stencils let's see my stencils are in there so, let's try to get this back. I'm sorry if I'm moving too much. And then, these are just, I think most of these are empty. I guess I need to do some shopping. And then beside that is my extra ink. And, of course, a unicorn tape dispenser. And then I have my Tim Holtz staples behind there. And then that is personal stuff. My medicine, you know, Tylenol, um, Kleenexes. And then I have these, like this one is just leftovers from when I make my, my little miniatures from journals or the tabs. And that one is buttons. And then we go over to here, and that is the stuff I need, uh, my crocodile, big stapler, glue, glue sticks, scissors, pencils, pens, and then over here is st personal stuff I need, my glasses, stuff I use a lot, um, my corner, oh, sorry, my corner punch. My tab punch. Um, these little things. And. Like I said, glasses. And then I have a. My. Oh. My purple ruler. And then. The edge of the paper distressor thing. And that one is ribbon that I use a lot of so I just keep it there um, and then behind it is shoe racks and up there is like notebooks notebooks envelopes and cards that's just miscellaneous bows and stuff. And then the very end is book pages. And then one beside it is empty. And see, like in this one, I have my beads. Like this one, I have some die cutting stuff that I've done. And like these are, if I could get it out, are stuff like this. That I had to, and I can't get it open. Oh, st 
stuff like that, you know, that I had to fussy cut. And then, like, let's, let's see what's in here. Different kinds of tablets. Index cards. And this one, index cards. Different tablets. Um, and these are all ephemera and stuff I had to fussy cut. So this area right here, this is where I sit. And I have my phone holder, my iPad holder, my light. And this, these buckets here, those are what I keep my stuff that I'm currently working on. And then, and then my cozy chair. I love my chair. And then at the end of this table, we have another one of these. And see, I have, like, in this one, I have my thread, material, and I cut down some fall folders to put on the top of these, um, because I have dogs. And I'm really big about trying to keep dog hair out of stuff. But, like I said, just material thread um i think there's some um oh what's those wires that you wrap around stuff some of those um uh zip ties cuz those um shelves i had to zip tie together to hold them and they're just shoe racks and they're perfect so, then we go over here, and of course, I need a dog bed down there, but the bottom tote has um, my paper pads. The top one has material, and then my sewing machine and my laptop are sitting up there, and when I need them, I just move them over to my workstation. And then we're turning. There's messy stuff, and all down through let me turn this light on all down through there on my entertainment center I have my paper stored so and trust me there's like let me move slow over here is extra paper bags. Um, I've got a ton of them. And like those two boxes are placemats. And then slowly, slowly, sorry. And over there is more paper. But then we come to my big bean bag chair. I love my bean bag chair. So, that is. Let me get back here so you can see it all. And his things are in the way. But that is my craft room. I think it's a nice. Oh, and then I got a white. Um, drawer set down there that I have my like iron and other stuff that plugs in in there I have one of those blowers you know that dries stuff just a lot of different stuff that needs to be plugged in I store it in there and I have one on the other side by my chair let's see let me move my chair Sorry. Uh, say yes down there. And that's where I keep my um, paper cutters and all my We Are Memory Keeper stuff. I keep all of them in that drawer set. And then see this? Um, 
jean material. Um, it's jean material. It's pockets. My sister made that for me. And um, I have my cutter in there. And this side I have my earbuds plugged in. And I don't have anything in the other pockets. Because I don't know. I just don't. But yeah, that's my craft room. Sorry if I moved too much. But um, I was trying to get everything. Trying to make this a quick video. Um, hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Bye.